Hi there, friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wrap shirt. Hold on. The rapture happened and only Ohio State fans were taken? No, silly. I didn't say rapture. I said wrap shirt. Oh, wrap shirt. That makes a lot more sense with the context of the channel. And plus, making a rapture period just doesn't, that sentence, that doesn't make sense. Thanks for your two cents, Makara. That's right, today I'm going to show you how to make a wrap shirt out of a frumpy old t-shirt. Or a wrap dress, if you'd prefer. First, you're going to need a t-shirt. I got mine from Salvation Army for $1.99. Now put it on and decide where you want the bottom to hit. I prefer it to hit just right along the top of the belly button. Now having marked that spot with a pin, that's P-I-N, not P-E-N, I used a ruler to straighten up the bottom and then cut several strips, each one about three inches wide. Next I began cutting off the neckline, and halfway through doing that I tried it on for this sort of weird DIY look, and you know what, you could just stop here and do this if you're bored watching the video, or moving along you could cut off the rest of the neckline like I did, and cut off two sort of shark fin shapes from the sides of your bodice to make it more fitted. Save these two pieces. Don't burn them, don't lose them, don't throw them away, and don't make a bikini out of them. You'll need them later. Now flip the shirt inside out and sew those new edges that you just created. You can pin if you would like. I realized early on that making a video with a black fabric was a bad idea because it doesn't show up very well, so if that bothers you, feel free to leave a mean comment. Be sure to try the shirt on at every point in the project just so you get the full experience. Next, mark a line going straight down diagonally from the top to the bottom of your t-shirt. Now this is especially easy if you choose a v-neck because then you can just follow that neckline all the way down. Now when you spread the shirt completely out, you'll notice that one side sort of tapers off and the other sort of stops bluntly. That's when these two triangles come into play. So I really hope you didn't end up making that bikini with them. Now place the two triangles right sides together and then sew along the edge. So then your two triangles becomes one, just like marriage or something. Now straighten up the edge of that triangle and place it against the blunt edge of your top. You want to pin it right sides together. Next I did a rolled hem all along all the open edges of my shirt, which is not necessary with a jersey knit, but I just wanted it to look really clean cut and sharp. Now take those gorgeous, undoubtedly perfect strips you cut earlier and fold them in half all the way down. Now sew all along that edge with a zigzag stitch. You don't want to be too close to the edge, but you don't want to be too far either. I don't like to use numbers or increments to explain things, but try to keep it about a centipede's width from the edge. Now with a t-shirt type knit, you want to be careful not to tug as you go, sort of push it through the machine, and be careful to notice that this part in the video, my nails get magically more beautiful very quickly. Alright, now you're going to fold that whole long tube inside out. Now how I do this is I put a safety pin on the end, and I sort of use that so that I have something to hold on to while I flip it inside out. Now, this is a pro tip, anytime you're doing something not on the machine and you can be outside, you need to get yourself outside. Get those vitamins that you get from the sun, whatever those may be. Next, after you turn your loop, iron it all flat so it's nice and crisp. And then, nice and easy, sew it to the edges of your shirt. Now, quick backstory about this shirt. I was considering either making this or a Regency dress one day because I was just really in the mood to make something. And I let my Instagram followers vote and decide, and they overwhelmingly chose this, which is good. It's fine. And I've worn this shirt pretty much every day since I made it, and I love it. But it's just kind of sad that no one cares about historical fashion the way I do. So lastly, I folded up the edges of my sleeves several times and sewed it in place for a more cutesy look or something. Does anyone notice how my narrate voice gets less narrate as time goes on? Okay, anyways, results! Here is the frumpy old t-shirt you remember, and here is the wrap shirt that I now wear, like, every day. I just love this style of shirt because I can wear sweatpants or shorts and be casual, or I can pair it with a skirt and wear it to church, which I have twice already. But let's say you want to make a dress, well you'll need two t-shirts this time, and you'll repeat the same steps, but real quick let me show you how to draw the neckline if you have a rounded neckline. There you go, nice and easy. Now with your second t-shirt you're going to want to cut the sleeves off and then lay it all out and just cut a general skirt shape. Now this doesn't have to be specific, you don't even have to use a ruler, but cut it out and then fold it inside out and sew along the edges, so you're just sewing a big tube. Now once you've sewed that, you're going to cut it open on one side, 
cut a line slightly off center and open it all up. Then pin it to your shirt, right sides together. Now you're going to want to leave a little spot open on one side, right about the middle of your side. Now this is uh, this is so you can you can put the you know the the thing the thing through you know the thing. Have you seen a wrap dress? Okay, I'll try to do a slightly better job explaining. So you're going to sew it all and skip one little spot, big enough for two fingers or, you know, two big juicy earthworms to fit through. Or, you know, for your strap to fit through. And there you have it, a simple, casual, or dressy wrap dress that you could wear anywhere, from the wall outside your garage to the alley behind your house. Yep, literally anywhere. All right, that's enough. That's enough. They get the picture. Let's go. All right, bye. <laughs>